Hi, welcome to Healthy Lifestyle with Eraldo, a show dedicated to helping you live a longer and healthier life while giving you the inside scoop on all of the latest fitness, health, and lifestyle trends. And of course, having fun while doing it. So let's get to it. My first guest is here with some helpful advice when it comes to holiday eating survival tips. She is the founder of Eat Your Way to Wellness. Welcome, Jessica DeLuise. Jessica! Aroldo! Boom! Excellent. I'm so happy to be here. Oh, I'm, I'm telling you, this is really making me hungry, and I just had lunch. Yes, and this is a big thing for people. Right? You know, holiday eating, how we're going to get through the day. Uh -huh. So let's talk, let's give them some tips. Let's what do you think? Let's give people some okay. really grateful health yeah. tips. All right, so let's start with, so obviously there is a difference between Definitely these two. Definitely a right? difference here, yes. So this is actually probably half the calories of this one here, but this okay. looks like the typical meal that people are enjoying on the holidays. Uh -huh. Very brown, right? Not a lot of right. excitement, not a lot of color. And then flip over here. We have, it's full of veggies. About half of my plate here is full with veggies. Mm -hmm. So that's tip number one. Right. Are you, you know, when you're getting your choices, when you're making choices with food, right. try to avoid these things, but don't eliminate them totally. Right. If you like to have those, just make them smaller portions. Absolutely, because yeah. it, it is the holidays after all, right? right. So you want to have a time to Absolutely. say, you know, whatever. But always there are some things you want to keep in mind. Definitely. So portion control, we talked about For this sure. before the show. Definitely. How important is portion control? It's huge. I mean, just right here to right here, I mean, we're talking half, okay? okay. And the turkey itself, you know, we maintain that over here mm -hmm. with a little gravy, but right. that is hundreds of calories, not to mention the stuffing and the mashed potatoes. So instead, flopping those portions about a cup of each of my salad and green beans. That's okay. going to be a nice size portion of vegetables. Mm. So, yeah. and what about exercising? Now, we also yeah. talked about that, how it's important to have your meal, but also to do something yeah, that will get you moving, right? Sure, it's the holidays. So you can take 15, 20 minutes in the morning or right after you eat. Play football with your family oh, and friends, yeah, right? Absolutely. Have fun. Get up, volunteer to wash those dishes. <laughs> Just move around because that's going to, one, help our digestion. Right. It's going to get our blood pumping, and that helps move things through a little bit more quickly. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, obviously, if you eat too much, which I've done, yeah. you you know, you know, throw up. But obviously, you want to keep it in control. I don't want well, you know, know. But it happens, right? Because right, right. you eat so much. So Sometimes. what is the best way to go about it? Is there like a, a, a scenario that would be the best? Yeah. Well, first of all, you want to start in the morning, and you want to have breakfast, Geraldo. Okay, so you have got to have So breaking that fast. We don't want our body to be in starvation mode. Correct. Where we're storing a lot of that table, calorie. You want to eat everything, exactly. Right? Or you, you know, you end up going to someone's house and you see all those appetizers out in the counter. Right. Then you're mindlessly eating because mm. you're so hungry. Okay. So eat breakfast before you go. Right. Even an apple on the way. Mm. And then when you go to enjoy your meal, I always start with my greens. I start right. eating there. So you there. start off with the greens first. Definitely. A lot of fiber in those foods is going to fill you up. A lot of water weight because okay. a lot of people can fuse thirst and hunger. True, so right. drink some water, eat your vegetables, you're going to hydrate yourself that way, mm. and then you can enjoy the rest of your meal. Right. And, so, and I also, mm -hmm. not to interrupt you, but yeah. I see there's, this is coffee, right? Correct? Yes, that's coffee. I always like to have coffee when I have my dessert. So okay. eat dessert, people. You want to eat dessert. All right. You know, don't deprive yourself, but I always have coffee or tea. So take a bite of your dessert, mm. have a little sip of coffee or tea, you'll eat much more slowly. Can you have coffee while you're eating your... Of course, sure, you can. that'll give you some energy too, right? If yeah. you want to do some extracurricular activities. Definitely. I always educate, you know, alcohol as well. Uh -huh. One cup of alcohol or coffee for every one cup of water. You want to make sure that you always are alternating so you stay hydrated. Both of those, alcohol and coffee, are diuretics. Right. They're going to dehydrate you. Correct. So drink your water. Drink your water as well. And yeah. so what are the swaps that we can actually make here? So I see you have, we swap the stuffing for the, 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 the salad here, Absolutely right? Absolutely right. So you're enjoying salad with some veggies on top, a little sprinkle of cheese if you want it, and use oil and vinegar, not those saturated fat, high caloric dressings. Right. You can do a green bean almondine. So roast them with olive oil, so right. roasting vegetables. And these as, are almonds, right? And almonds is a great, you know, healthy fat and protein. Mm -hmm. as a opposed to a casserole that's creamy okay. and really high in calories. Instead of the mashed potatoes, which you certainly could do, take, you know, take half of your potatoes out and add cauliflower right. or add a sweet potato. Add something with some more nutrition. That would be great. Yep. Now, is there any difference between white meat and dark meat? Is there a difference in yeah, calories? There is. You know, it's, it, it, there is a little bit more saturated fat in the dark meat. Okay. However, if you're filling your plate with vegetables and meat, right. we as practitioners, we don't care what kind of meat you're eating. Just True. eat your meat. But it is going to be a little bit more in, higher in the saturated fat. So as far as is calories, I know we talked about one is actually half the calories that the it's other one? It's about half. Yeah, just, take, just making these portions smaller, adding your vegetables. Vegetables are very low in calorie. They're uh -huh. mostly water weight. So you're going to eliminate 
eliminate a lot of your calories just by making those easy swaps. Okay. It's very, very easy. What about when it comes down to eating your desserts now? Yeah, so eat your dessert. And like I said before, the coffee and the tea is a great you know, right. model but that I use. Right, but are there different use. desserts you should be eating as so, opposed to other ones? Oh, or? that's a great question. <laughs> so fruit-based desserts will be the best. So, or even fresh Sorbets fruit. Sorbets or something? Sorbets, even the apple pies will right. probably be a little bit less calories than uh -huh. opposed to creamy, dense, you know, sugary desserts. Right. And eat one thing. And then right. you know, there's always extra dessert. Wrap something and have it in a few days. You don't have to eat 12 different desserts True. all during that one sitting. Okay, so and the last, Pretty the last question, but if you want to exercise, say even later in the evening. Yeah, anything. Is, yeah. Is, is that could that work? Yep. Or? Yeah. So a, a nice power walk. You don't have to run, right. but a nice walk right after you enjoy your meal, 15, 20 minutes, will help you to move things through and digest. Beautiful. Now I understand you have a book out. Yes, great Let's stuff. Give it. Let's give a shout stuffer. out to your That's book. right. So I do have a book. It's a clean eating guide, mm -hmm. and it goes through the ways that I maintain my health and how when right. I started my journey, how yes. I did that. Wow. So there's shopping lists, recipes some daily habits that I use, and it's called the No Doc Method Absolutely. because, you know, healthy eating is the foundation for health. That's right. So No Doc Method, you won't have to go to the doctor as much if you're focusing on these essentials. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you so much for Thanks being here and sharing with us. Okay, guys, still to come. Have you started your holiday shopping yet? Well, if not, after the break, we have the latest jewelry trends that could make the perfect gift for that special someone. Stay tuned.